Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there's a man named Wonka. That's me. Rolla Wonka, who owned a big and fantastic eye-dropping factory. I'm no wizard. Everybody loves my factory. Every child loves to taste the chocolate from it. Yes, we make chocolate. Chocolates with a one-of-kind taste and unique form that anybody would search for. Everything was fine, settled, and moving directly to success. Until a woman from another far and wonderful land came. She was, as I understand, the Red Queen of her kingdom. She made a deal with me that she would let me get an exotic flavor from her wonderland, if and only if I made her part owner of my chocolate factory. Of course, I didn't agree, but then she let me taste the flavor. It was so pure, so tasty, so magical, that made me so fond of it. I got no choice. I would just buy it, but she sold it in a very high price. My money was not enough, so she let me owe the half of it. Then she tricked me. Everything got here white. She and her stick man kicked me out of the factory and spread a rubbish news about me. She could get all what she wants in different lands, different properties. She's cruel. In a magical land called Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. She was amazed by the historic and undeniable beauty of the school, so she invaded it. Made all the students be gone from Hogwarts. She soon found a place where she could place the chocolate factory. Now she's ruling the land of wizards and the producer of the popular food. Now she's ruling the land of wizards and the producer of the popular Wonka chocolate magic and power are in her hands. Me? I'm living on the countryside, alone, hopeless and woeful. Old in the weak widow's bone. Whoa, wait! What can I do to save my company in the hardware? Huh. I bought five chocolates and not to ask for help. I will distribute this in the whole county and five lucky wizards will receive it and will find a letter in it. Five wizards who will help me get my factory back and save the school for it. Can teach more students and develop them into great wizards.